Hey guys, today I've got for you Adidas goes to two boots. Um, I thought I'll just I'll just get some more boots just because they're really good prices. And since um, some people find it useful, I just thought I would just buy them and just return them or sell them if they have a good price. Um, with these, actually, funny enough, I'm I'm actually selling these because these were. You know they were a really good price they were like 50 pounds um when they originally came out they were about 130 125 and even on some websites they're still like 90 80 pounds so uh 50 60 pounds it's definitely a bargain and i'll tell you why um it's probably the first proper boot um speed boot that i've actually reviewed I know I did the, um, the Nikes in the previous videos, but they were the quite cheaper models, so you couldn't really tell, well, I couldn't really tell the difference between, you know, that and a normal boot, really. But with these, you can. Um, and that's probably to do with the way it's been constructed. So if you can take a look here at the boot, um, it's a, just, a, I think it's polyurethane. It most, mostly normally boots are that's made out of this one piece material that fits around this boot here um, and that helps it with being so light um, and also so flexible so if you can see that it's very flexible and even when I do that um, and I'll show you later on my actual foot um, it, it doesn't feel cheap at all considering this is just a the, the takedown model and it's not the most expensive model but it's not the cheapest model um, it's a very good quality material um, and I think the way that the way that is is because of the way that the, con the construction inside so if you see inside I'm not sure if you can see that but it's kind of like um, semi-transparent so you can kind of see through it and that just shows how thin that layer is um, so inside here there's like a mesh material which probably just helps with the actual structure of the boot and then they obviously have these these different layers of polyurethane on top um, to kind of finish it off um, you can see in some parts this is slightly darker so they have an extra layer um, of this this material um, around the foot um, but I think these are, they, they normally call these um, speed skin materials and I think that's why because it is very flexible and very light because of the way that it's constructed and I know that the, the design in general isn't a new technology but in terms of um, what you get for this boot, the fact that they've applied most of the, the higher end technology in this boot is I do feel like it's definitely worth well, especially now at sixty pounds, um, they have this weird kind of lace covering. Um, in the more expensive versions, you can't see the laces, which is why it's normally called a lace covering. But um, in these, they kind of you can and you can't. But you can, um, but for me, that doesn't it really doesn't bother me at all. For, as long as there are laces for me, and um, that's the most important thing, so just so I can have some kind of control over to how tight I want the boot um, but in general the, the actual feel of the boot um, the way it's been made um, the way it, it flexes quite easily um, just shows that it is, is a very well constructed boot um, the sole plate is um, different obviously to the more expensive ones I think with the more expensive models which are £100 more um, you know, so you would expect them to be some kind of difference. They have carbon fiber inserts here. Um, the they have a, a, a heel, um, a heel and a toe, a toe sorry, a toe razor bit here. So I think it's slightly like that, just to help it, you help you push off. Um, and then I think the the material of the sole is slightly different, um, just to make it slightly lighter. But in terms of this boot. Um, it's actually very well made and as, as I showed you before it's very flexible um, and yeah if you're that kind of style of player where you, you would like to run with the ball or you like to run around as quickly as possible um, you've probably not you know this is this is probably a good boot to, to get 
or, or definitely to look at. Um, in terms of inside, you do have um, the insole, but I can't take it off. It's actually stuck, which is a bit annoying. Um, you know, considering they originally came out 125 pounds, that like you would expect that to be at least removable. Um, but in terms of that, it's it's actually pretty decent inside here. This is some kind of like fake suede material, um, and you have some padding around here and here, and then like a, a heel a heel bit there. In terms of the actual padding, it is it is very well made, uh, it, and it just feels very well constructed as a whole the whole boot um, and that's 60 pound i definitely think it's a bargain um the only thing i would say is that i do feel that the the heel could be slightly deeper um, I'm, I'm wearing them on my left foot here um, and it does feel a little bit on the high side on the back um, but that's just being fussy really like apart from that it fits really well um, i'm a size 8 trainer um size but with adidas boots it seems to be a size nine it seems to be for all of all of the different models i seem to be size nine it seems to fit quite well um so yeah as you can see here what i was talking about it bends really easily because it's so thin and i think that's probably one thing that i personally don't like is how thin it is you know my my style of play isn't isn't about um, trying to run around as quickly as possible or, or taking on the whole team I just don't have that ability unfortunately but for me it's if you are that kind of player and you do want a light boot this is fantastic um, but yeah so that what that going back to the the construction of that bit here um, because it is like a, a one piece material um, it does make it very light and that does help it you know, um, help with the flexibility as well. But in general, the, ma the materials used are very well um, made. Um, and I'm actually really impressed with, with this model. Um, as I said, if I was that kind of player, I'll, I'll probably go for these. Um, so yeah, you know, in terms of the, the boot for the price now, um, I'm sure they're gonna release a newer model, which is probably why they're, they're much cheaper than they originally were. Um, I definitely recommend these. Um, I am reviewing the Adidas Nemesis in another video, which has a similar price point uh, and a similar boot, but actually completely different. So um, I hope you get to um, watch that if you if you maybe want to compare the different speed boots for this price point at the moment. So yeah, I hope that um, is helpful for you guys. It's just a quick review about these boots. Um, hopefully I can get some more in the future um, because I'm actually quite interested to see the different models and how they vary um, even if the, the, the prices are pretty similar compared to each boot it is actually quite interesting for me to see the difference in what your money gets you um, and yeah so I hope that is interesting and I hope you find it useful um, and if you have any questions, as always, just just send a comment below, and and I'll I'll try my best to answer it or find out the answer um, to the best of my ability. So I hope you enjoy it, and see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Around oh, originally around one hundred and twenty-five. And look at mine. Yes. Hey guys. So yeah. Gosh, it's really short. Yeah. It's really, yeah. It's really short. Can you pause this? Hey guys. One second, one second. <laughs>